Hi guys, Ray from Whimsical Pictures here, and I just came home from work on this lovely Thursday afternoon to a very big and exciting package. And I know there are probably at least like three or four people in my regular viewing audience who saw the title of this video and literally burst out laughing. Uh, but yeah, this order here is so disgustingly on brand for me that I felt that it may actually be literally illegal for me not to film an unboxing of it, so that is what we're doing. <laughs> Basically, I ordered this little stack of books from Mercari, which is like the Japanese version of eBay, and the whole stack was about, I think it was about $20, like 2,000 yen, uh, but basically I was looking for the Tankobon, the graphic novel versions of Star Red, which is a Moto Hagio series. Um, I have the Bunkobon, but it's so small. <laughs> And the Tonko Bones are really easy to find for that series, so I was like, I'm gonna get the Tonko Bones. And I found someone who seems to have been uh, looking to sell basically their entire little Motohagio collection from when they were younger, so that is what this is. Um, the biggest thing for me in there is that this should include the three original Tonkobon volumes of The Heart of Thomas, which of course I own the Kanzenban edition, like the collector's edition, in English from Fanagraphics, but basically because I already owned that, I had decided that the version I wanted to own in Japanese, because this is one of my favorite manga series, uh, was the original Tonkobon, so that's what this is. And yeah, I'm super excited to open it. Based on the description and the photos uh, from online, and the fact that these were most likely the possessions of some tweenage or teenage girl in the 70s, I'm expecting these to be moderately loved. Uh, the biggest issue in the photos was that the spines were quite faded, but uh, the yellowing didn't look too bad, and that's why I went with this. So. We'll see if they are accurate to picture and accurate to description. Let's crack her open without stabbing myself in the arm. All right, here we go. The thing about ordering these books from Japan is that they always package them so nicely for you. Every experience I've had with Marikari has been lovely. Yep, they smell like old books. <laughs> Let's see if we can get them all out first and then we'll take a look at them, okay? All right, here we go. Yep, these look about how I expected which is good. Um, so the first thing I notice is this big ol' thingy that is the most recent thing in here. So this is just an issue of Flower Magazine that includes the newest, sort of, the new chapter from Po no Ichizoku, the Po Clan, which is coming out in English soon. So that's cool. I already own this the collected chapters of this in the Tankobon volume that they released, Dreams of Spring, so I don't really need this, um, and it seems like someone's left it in the sun anyway, so. Uh, oh, it says it has a spin-off from The Heart of Thomas, so that I'll definitely have to read. Um, I didn't know about that. Then we also have, ah, this is it. <laughs> so this includes the spin-off of The Heart of Thomas, which appears to be about Oscar, maybe? Which, if so, is exciting. And it also includes, um, it looks like, maybe another short story 
I'll have to investigate further on my own, but that's exciting. It's a very pretty picture. Come on. Yeah. All right. Oh, where do we start? We start from the ones I was the most excited about, I guess. This is the ones that I was actually shopping for, which is Star Red. This is a space opera starring this girl. And other than that, I don't know much about it because I haven't read it. Considering these are from the 70s, they're not all that yellow. Um, the outsides are a bit on the yellow side, but I do not mind that. So this is complete in these three volumes, and I'm excited to read that. I'll show you the covers. This is the second one. Isn't that fun? And that one. Uh, it's Star Red who's on the cover of this art book back here. And then next, we've got the ones that I was super excited to find, which do have very faded spines, but that's okay. These are the original Tonka Bone volumes of The Heart of Thomas. This is also complete in three volumes. I just love the illustrations on the covers so much. So I can't wait to read this series in Japanese. I might read it side by side with the translation. Um, yeah, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Next, we have the Tonko Bone version of one that has actually been reprinted recently, but it's cool to have the ones from the era when it was originally from, uh, and that is Po no Ichizoku. This is complete in five Tonko Bone volumes, and again, the spines are very faded, but I decided that I cared more about the quality of the pages, which for their age and the fact that they probably belong to a teenager, uh, they don't look that bad. So there's volume one, volume two, volume three, that one's cool, volume four, Edgar, and volume five. That one's really pretty. That's really pretty. So yeah, this one also I can read alongside the, uh, the English version once that comes out. And then the last three volumes are just some other stories. Osorubeki Kodomo Tachi appears to be... I'm not actually very familiar with this one. It says original work by John Cocteau. So, I guess it's an adaptation? But, yeah, I really don't know anything about this one. But I'm excited to read it. Obviously, it's from Motohagyo. This is in the best shape, by far. So, yeah. I'll read that. <laughs> and then the other one is this shonen manga here. Okay, slight pause for me to go do my research, because I wasn't sure off the top of my head how to read these kanji. This is Hyakuoku no Hiro to Sengoku no Yoru. And uh, I guess it's the only shounen manga that Motohagyo has ever done. I recognize the illustrations from this art book again, and it seems to be an adaptation of a famous sci-fi novel. So that's cool. I know from seeing the illustrations of this in the art book, I was really interested in reading it, so I will definitely be giving that a shot. So yeah, uh, the most exciting ones here, obviously, are The Heart of Thomas and Star Red, the ones I was actually looking for, but I'm excited to have all of these. Jajang. That is uh, the new additions to my Motohagyo collection, so uh, I hope you're proud of me. That is my very exciting unboxing for today, so I will see you next time for whatever my next actually scheduled video is. See you later, guys. Bye.